Hi, this is Tamara at MooglyBlog.com, and today I'd like to show you how to work the Vintage Wobble Afghan, which is a free pattern that you can find on MooglyBlog.com. Here I have the finished afghan, which I made last fall. Today I'm going to be working just a small sample of it. This pattern is made in a multiple of 12 stitches plus 7 plus 2 more for the turning chain. So here I have the smallest possible size, I've chained 21. So what I'm going to do is work a double crochet into the sixth chain from the hook. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six. Then in that same chain, I'm going to work another double crochet followed by a chain one and two more double crochets right in that same chain. Now the five chains that we skipped count as a double crochet and skip two right there on the end. All right, so we've made our two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets in the sixth chain from the hook. Then we're going to skip three more, excuse me, yes, three more chains, one, two, three. And in the next stitch, work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, also known as the V stitch. There's one double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then we're going to work double crochet two together over the next three stitches or the next three chains, skipping the chain in the middle. So to do that, we yarn over, start working a double crochet in the very next chain, stop when there are two loops left on the hook, yarn over, skip the next chain, and then in the chain after that, start working another double crochet. Oops. And then with three loops left on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's our double crochet, two together, over three chains, skipping the center chain. In the very next chain, we'll work another V-stitch. That's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then we're going to skip three more chains, one, two, three, and in the next chain, work two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets all in that same next chain. And we're almost done with our little swatch here. Now, as I finish with this chain, that double crochet in that chain there, we have exactly three chains left to our swatch. What you're going to do, obviously you're probably gonna be making this a lot bigger for a blanket, but you make your repeat, you're going to restart here at this section of the V, double crochet two together, V. You're gonna repeat that with your two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets over and over again till you get to where you only have three chains left. Then you're gonna skip the first two of those chains and work a double crochet right in the last chain. And that is how you work row one of the Vintage Wobble Afghan. Now, the way I make this afghan is I break the yarn after every row, finish it off and start the next row with another yarn. You can keep going with the same color if you like, but I'm going to show you as we've broken the yarn and we finish it off. Then we go ahead and turn and pick up color two. Now you can, to do this, to start off with the row two, uh, you can go into that first stitch and work a slip stitch and chain three to count that as your first double crochet, or you can work a chainless starting double crochet, or excuse me, a standing double crochet. Uh, that part is up to you. It would be a chainless standing double crochet if you are working with the same color. But since we're changing colors, we'll do a starting double crochet. That's what I like to do. And I have a separate tutorial for that on my blog and on my YouTube channel if you're not familiar. So what you're going to do is either a standing double crochet or a chain three in that first stitch. Then in the chain one, in between the two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, in that chain one space, you're going to work another set of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, all right in that chain one space. Then we're gonna skip on over to that next V-stitch. Inside that V-stitch, we're gonna work another V-stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, just as before. 
Now we've come to that double crochet two together. At this point we're going to work another double crochet two together, but we're going to do it on the outside of that little, if it looks like a kind of like an upside down V here, what we're going to do is work the first half of it on the right and the second half of it on the left in between the posts of the stitches before and after. So in between these two stitches, we're going to work the first half of our double crochet to, two together. Then we're going to go in between these two posts to sort of nest over that upside down V there. We go one there and that one's right on top, right on the outside of it. Then in the next V stitch, work another double crochet, chain one, double crochet, another V stitch right in the V stitch. And you can see this pattern is really easy to memorize because you're essentially working the same stitch over what you're doing before. Then we've come to a double crochet twice, chain one, double crochet twice. So we're gonna do the same thing right in that chain one space for this. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Then we skip those last two stitches and work a double crochet right in the top of the turning chain. And that's all there is for row two. You break the yarn and finish off and turn. Now every row after row two is worked exactly the same way. So let me show you row three. It's gonna be exactly the same as row two. So you can see this is gonna work up really quickly. Work a double crochet or slip stitch and chain three in the first stitch. Oops, there we go. Then work in that chain one space in between the two double crochets, the chain one and the two double crochets. In that chain one space, work another two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Then the next thing happening here is that V stitch. So in the chain one space, we'll work another V stitch. And that's one of the things I love about this pattern. You're not trying to work down right into the tops of lots of stitches, only at the beginning of the end. Otherwise you're working in chain one spaces or in between posts. So it goes really quickly. Then we've come to that double crochet two together. So we're gonna again, work on either side of it to make our next double crochet two together. Then next is a V stitch. So we work another V stitch right in that chain one space. Chain one, oops, double crochet. And then we've come to the, the big V stitch, I guess you could call it two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So we'll work the same thing right into that chain one space. And then we've come to the end, we keep repeating this section right here. This is the 12 stitch repeat, you could call it. Then as we come to the end, we work a double crochet right into the top of the chain three, or if you've done the standing double crochet, right into the top of that stitch. And then, of course, break the yarn, finish off, and turn to start your next row. And that's all there is to working the Vintage Wobble Afghan. For full pattern instructions, uh, including the number of chains you want to use to make a full size afghan, please do check out the blog. There's also a crochet chart there and some close-ups of the stitch pattern itself that'll help you out. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.